I'm Mike Ling and I fly as Blade 3 with the Blades aerobatic team. The unique thing about the Blades is that all of the full-time pilots with the team are former Red Arrows pilots. And while there are 30 manoeuvres that we fly during our display, one of the, the crowd favourites is the heart that Blades 1 and 4 draw in the sky. And it's there for our charity partners, the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund. Well, having served in the Royal Air Force, we're all acutely aware of the importance of the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund and the support they give to the RAF family as a whole. I personally have experienced support from the fund in 2010 when I was leading the Synchro Pair in the Red Arrows. We were doing a second practice of the day. We were head to head performing a manoeuvre called the Opposition Barrel Roll. Uh, unfortunately, my wingman's tail fin hit my canopy just above my head, about 18 inches above my head, and that shattered the canopy. So I ejected and um, I could smell a lot of burning, I could taste a lot of blood, and, and obviously there was a, a bit of mayhem happening. Unfortunately, when the news came from the Greek doctors that I'd injured my legs and my shoulder, and it was unlikely that I was gonna be walking anytime soon, that was um, a bit of a blow, a bit of a blow. Any day, you don't know what's gonna happen to you. For me, it was that split second, error out in Crete where I had the accident and then I had to rely on the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund and everybody in the Royal Air Force needs to understand that. I couldn't use my left arm at all, it was it was strapped up, I couldn't walk so I was in a wheelchair but it was a, a, a chair that I, I couldn't control, I couldn't go anywhere, I couldn't do anything at all and I was given support in the form of a powered wheelchair and it gave me a little bit of independence and indeed it, uh, it kept me mentally astute and, and it meant I could interact with other people so it was definitely very important on my road to recovery. But since I was a boy, all I wanted to be was a, a Royal Air Force pilot. So after my accident, when I'm, I'm laying there in hospital thinking, well, there's a chance I might not get back in the air, it really is due to the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund that I got back on my feet and I got back in the cockpit and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the support of the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund.